this week on Dog Soldier. Everybody, I'm Steve Kreiner, the Dog Soldier, and thanks for joining us on this week's episode. This week, we're headed to Texas. Me and Cordell's got the truck pointed south. We're rolling. We're going to be killing a lot of stuff in the dark. It's epic. You don't want to miss it. Dog Soldier starts now. A soldier, a thing that prays, unaided and alone. Surviving in a hostile environment where only the strong survive. You must master or be mastered. Provide, protect, manage. For there are no packs between coyotes and men. He is the dog soldier. Powered by Flexstone Game Calls. You know, we get into Texas, we get to uh, Sterling's father-in-law's house, Richard's, and uh, we're just gonna kinda get stuff together. We're gonna shoot a few guns, we're gonna shoot some air guns, we're gonna get the Air Venturi compressor out, fill some tanks. We're gonna do just a few chores, and then we're gonna go hunting. Oh yeah. Hey everybody, we are in Texas, just south of the Panhandle. I tell you what, we have a week long of carnage. We've got air gun and coyotes. We got pigs, bobcats, foxes, air venturi tanks and compressors and big old 50 caliber air guns, which is Umrex's hammer. It's awesome, man. It's gonna rock on. Cool and system on. Let's do it. I'm actually going to send them guys hunting first. I'm going to send Cordell with Sterling and Regulator Jason Stearman, and uh, they're going to do some night hunting. Sterling's been doing his scouting, got a lot of animals, got some cats figured out, and I'm I'm going to chase some pigs. Check my wind here. The wind's blowing this way. Bait's that way. We're good. Hey guys, it's Sterling Justice here from Just Us Surviving. We got regulator Jason Stearman down from uh, Colorado. Steve kind of brought him. Steve's down there trying to kill a hog tonight. We're getting the rig set up. Gonna turn it on tonight. We got the hands-free drag from myself. We got a killer right here. We're gonna turn it on tonight. Y'all stay tuned. You know, Jason Stearman and Sterling, they're good buddies, regulators. I mean, it's this is good stuff. Uh, Sterling's a representative from Tactical Predator Hunter. Jason being a regulator just fits. We're all family. We're there to have fun's the most important thing. And that's what we're going to do. Now, Sterling had his eye on this bobcat, and he probably could have killed it long before we got there. But this first stand, them boys are going to start. Them boys are going to start us on a roll. And it's going to be hard to get off of it on this trip. I mean, we are going to start this episode outright. Watch these guys on this stand. Hey guys, it's Sterling Justice here. I got Jason Stearman, regulator from uh, Steve Kreiner, the dog soldier. Uh, we left Steve Kreiner down there trying to kill a hog this evening. Me and Stearman are gonna go do a little night calling and uh, see what we can't pull up and get on the ground. We'll see y'all in shortly. Right here in the middle of a, a cotton field to what we are, we got a brush pile to our east, we got brush to the south and brush to the west. He's talking about a lot of cats in this area, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna turn on some tunes and see what we can get after here. I'll pull a coyote or 
cat out of this brush pile. That's a cat. Let's let him work. He's coming right at us. That's a good job. <laughs> Look at that. Second stand. Cat down. Seven minutes in and we, we had that and gone the string right through this open ground. So you said there's gonna be a cat here. I did. <laughs> we're uh we're gonna move down the road and go knock some more fur down. Good job, buddy. Yeah. A pretty textbook stand. First stand of the night for these guys. Bobcat in the dirt. Don't forget, I ain't very far away. And I'm over a pig bait. And I mean a hot one. I love night hunting and I love night hunting with a white light. OD40, man, if you're a hog hunter, predator hunter, coyote hunter. I'll wait just a minute. I hear them down here on this creek. You know, I really wasn't there that long after dark and uh, I hear things happening. Now I got a sound in my library. It's not, I'm not released it yet. It's gonna be released on sound pack number two, but it's called Hog Hangout. It's a sound I recorded in Arkansas. Actually, I recorded a bunch of different sounds and put them together. When I hear pigs squealing, I push the button on a dog soldier electronic call. I guess you could say the pigs come running. Now literally, we're gonna speed it up, but we've got 10 minutes of B-roll of this pig standing in this white light. I mean, I just can't get over it. I mean, I can't shoot him yet, but sooner or later, he's gonna make the wrong move and I'm gonna be able to take a shot. Dispatch, mister. Pig one down. That's what I'm liking. I love shooting pigs. I want to scream. I love shooting hogs. I want to just... It's hard to contain. We'll do the recovery tomorrow in the daylight. There ain't no way I can get him out tonight. we get that pig out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and gather my stuff. We'll recover him the next day in the daylight. But uh, I'm telling you, Cordell, Sterling, Jason Stearman, they're on a roll. They're getting ready for their second stand and it's on. 
This coyote comes in and does everything like it's supposed to do. All right, guys, here's the deal on this one. Uh, we just killed a cat on the second stand of the night, man. I hope the rest of the night goes like this. We circled on around, got the wind right, got right close to water, told Steerman, man, there's a road right here and there's a bunch of brush on the south side. We got a south wind. We're just gonna slip on in here and maybe we can pull something across that dirt road and uh, I don't know, see if we can't put some fire on the ground. Let's get her done. That. It was fast. That was real quick, man. That, <laughs> that couldn't have worked out any better. No. Coming right across that road from that brush like we talked. I mean, right in our lap, dude. On perfect, the beeline. <laughs> that was perfect. This coyote comes in, works his way around a little bit. They get him killed. These boys are on a roll. I really like how Stearman, Sterling, and Cordell are clicking. I mean, two stands and they've killed a bobcat and they've killed a coyote. It don't get no better than that. Probably a first year pup. I couldn't have worked out any better. We came in on this road, knowing there's brush over there, and this is pretty open right here. Wind's blowing directly that direction. Figured we'd try to call and pull something and out of that brush. And, Sure enough, it came right over that tank and steering caught eyes and we lip squeaked him to about, what, 70 yards? Stand number three, we got two predators in the <laughs> fur rack. Let's go get some more, man. Famous, and you'll see why in weeks to come why we call Sterling famous. He's done his homework, he's scouting, and they're moving on to the next stand and they're gonna keep rolling. So you got Famous and Stearman, Cordell behind the camera. They're on stand number three, literally. It's, it's time. I mean, these guys are on a roll. Stand number three, textbook, coyote comes in. gonna work this coyote a little bit. They're gonna get him right. They're gonna make sure Cordell got the footage. Let's see what happens. guys are on a roll. That's what I'm talking about. Boy, I tell you what, these hands-free drags make life a lot easier dragging predators. Pretty smooth. Uh, well, we'll kind of fill y'all in on this. Let's see what that is. Male? It's a male. We've hit 
uh, three in a row and uh, we got predators down. This is our third uh, third predator we got. We got two coyotes and a bobcat right now. And Steve Kreiner's over at my father-in-law's. He's killing pigs. We just talked to him. He's having a heck of a time right now by himself. Just living the dream, man. And we're trying to do the same. We're just out here bouncing around. Whapping them. them. Yeah, whacking them. They've been coming in quick. I mean, we're just gonna keep at it and uh, just he keep hitting these smaller spots, man. They've been producing. So we'll see y'all shortly. What's that? Hey. What's going on? You doing any good? I killed a big porker. There you go. Weighs about 562 pounds and 30 cents. 30 cents is all that matters. Yeah, what are you doing? Oh, we're out here killing a few, few coyotes. We've had pretty good luck tonight. Episode's done. Episode's good deal, done. Good job. We're gonna oh, keep yeah. rolling. Roll it up. Roll it up. We're going to Cancun. Okay. Well, you know what? These guys are on a roll. You're gonna see in the next couple weeks why I call famous. <laughs> excuse me. Why I call Sterling famous. But I'm telling you right now, Stearman, Sterling. Cordell, myself, we all got luck on our back and we're gonna carry it as far as we can carry it. We just got to Texas, first night. The first part of this three-part series is done. We're gonna keep rolling on. Here, we parked the truck back there. I'm gonna show you guys the hog I shot last night, put some more bait out. We're gonna end this episode and hopefully start next week with another good hog kill. We've been down here hunting with Sterling Justice and father-in-law Richard Stewart. There hasn't been no, there ain't no hog tracks or anything in the drag marks. It's a big old hog, ain't it? Big old cutters. Woo! Tell you right now, man, I tell you right now, I love shooting pigs. This is about a 200 pound pig got good cutters really nice cutters I propped it up last night with his mouth open because I knew by the time we got here this morning he'd be all stiffened up big old hog it's a good episode I'm glad you guys have been watching it's been a good season so far we're just starting in Texas here with Sterling Justice man we're on a roll two or three coyotes last night and a cat and this hog we got air gun stuff coming it's just gonna be a it's gonna be a good week, we're glad we're here. Hey guys, thanks for watching this week's episode. This is the first part of a three-part series here in Texas, and we are on a roll. We're killing a lot of stuff, we're gonna be killing a lot of pigs and a lot of bobcats in the next few weeks, and it's gonna be epic. With that being said, remember, keep your head up, stay fearless, don't apologize to no one, and thank a veteran, because without veterans, none of this is possible. Peace out, homies, catch you next week.